It looks like football is the sport that people around the world play and watch the most. There are a lot of football players and teams that drive their fans absolutely crazy with how they play. But did you know there's a real person working behind the scenes to make sure a team does well? A coach. A football team can't win without the help of coaches. He is an important part of football teams and gets paid for what he does in the sport. The coach's salary is based on how well the team does, how much it costs to run, and how much money it makes. When a team's profits go up, the money available to pay the head coach goes up too. Because of this, some coaches around the world get paid a lot of money, no matter what league they work in. There are also coaches from teams in leagues like the Premier League, the French League, the Spanish League, the Italian League, and others. After watching this video, you'll have a good idea of how much these coaches make. So let's talk about the top 10 highest paid coaches. Number 10, Carlo Ancelotti. The 10th numbered person on this list of the top 10 highest paid coaches in the world is Carlo Ancelotti. He makes a gross salary of 12.6 million euros per year, which makes him the 10th highest paid person on the list. He's more than just an average coach because he has a wide range of technical skills. These skills helped him become the head coach at clubs like AC Milan, PSG, and Real Madrid. Number 9. Rafa Benitez Rafa Benitez used to be the coach for Madrid, and now he's the ninth highest paid coach in the world. Every year, Rafa Benitez makes 12.9 million euros from his salary and endorsements. After coaching for Newcastle, he is now a coach for the Chinese Super League team Dalian Erben. Number 8. Massimiliano Allegri With a salary of 13.6 million euros per year, Massimiliano Allegri has become one of the highest paid coaches following in the footsteps of seven other people who made similar amounts. He used to be the head coach of the football team Juventus. Because he makes so much money from coaching, you could say that he has a comfortable life. Number 4. Jose Mourinho Jose Mourinho is probably the best trainer in the world, which means that he will get paid less for his work. One of the top three spots on the list of the best coaches in the world should be saved for him. In addition to coaching, he was the manager of Milan during the 2009 and 10 season. Milan is now thought to be one of the best teams in the world. The football coach has a lot of skills and earns about 17.2 million euros per year for his work. His most recent jobs were with Chelsea, Manchester, and Real Madrid. He's now working for Tottenham. Number 7. Fabio Cannavaro Who says that when you retire, you lose all of your charisma and power? After his playing days were over, Fabio Cannavaro became a coach, which shows that this assumption was wrong. Before he stopped playing football professionally, he had a successful career as a good football player in the Italian National League. He makes 14 million euros a year as the head coach of the Chinese league team Guangzhou Evergreen. After he retired from the game, it is amazing that he was given the chance to join Guangzhou Evergreen, which is one of the best clubs. Number 6. Antonio Conte Antonio Conte is already one of the most successful managers in the world. After he left Inter Milan, he also became one of the highest paid football coaches. He has become one of the most successful managers in the world since then. Every year, about 16.5 million euros go through his hands. Inter Milan stars knew that Antonio could help them get back to their former glory, and they did so with the help of one of the best coaches. Antonio got what he wanted. Number 5. Zinedine Zidane Zinedine Zidane is a French coach who is nothing but a blessing for his team. Zidane is from the French country. He does amazing things that make the teams into legends. He is always listed as one of the top 10 most successful managers in the whole world. Florentino Perez thinks that Zinedine might come back to Real Madrid, whose glory days are long gone. He was right, too, because Zinedine led the team to win the La Liga title. Number 3. Jurgen Klopp Jurgen Klopp is the third highest paid football coach in the world. He is also the second most successful manager in the world. His annual compensation totals 17.5 million euros. Jurgen was born in Germany, and many people think that he's one of the most important people in sports. He won the Champions League in the 2018-19 season, and since then, he has been in real competition with Pep Guardiola, his rival. Number 2. Pep Guardiola Pep Guardiola is the second highest paid football coach in the world. This is because he's a great coach and leader. In this way, his reputation goes before him. People think he's one of the best football managers in the world, which has helped his income in some way. 
PAPE'S SALARY OF ABOUT 23 MILLION EUROS PER YEAR IS HUGE AND CAN ONLY BE GIVEN BY THE MOST SUCCESSFUL CLUBS IN THE WORLD. PAPE IS THE HEAD COACH OF THE WORLD FAMOUS FC BARCELONA SOCCER TEAM AND HE IS THE ONE WHO CAME UP WITH THE SEXTET FORMATION. NUMBER 1. DIEGO PABLO SIMEONE Diego Simeone is the most professional football coach in the world and he also makes the most money. His superiority may be shown by the fact that during the pandemic, when most of coaches lost their jobs and their incomes, he was not at all affected. He makes about 49.28 million euros, which shows how powerful he is. He is one of the La Liga coaches who's been there the longest and trains the league's teams. His track record as a pitch coach has been very good. He's been doing this for a very long time. As a topping on the cake, let's give you some updates on the ongoing matches in Qatar right now. At the time of writing this script for the video, on Friday, England will play the United States of America in Qatar as part of Group B of the World Cup. Bukayo Saka, Jude Bellingham, Raheem Sterling, and Jack Grealish each scored a goal for the three Lions in their opening match against Iran, which resulted in a 6-2 victory for Gareth Southgate's team. The three Lions won their opening match in impressive fashion. This week, Harry Kane had a scan done on his ankle, and once the results came back, he was given the all-clear to play. Meanwhile, Harry Maguire, who had been sick, has also claimed that he is ready to return to action after his illness. As a result, everyone anticipates that Southgate will keep the same team. It will be important for England to get their very first victory over the United States in a World Cup competition so that they can put an undesirable record to rest. The United States of America achieved legendary success by defeating England at the World Cup in 1950. Yet, a blunder by Rob Green led to a 1-1 draw in South Africa in 2010. Although they dominated the first half against Wales in their opening match in Qatar, the United States team failed to live up to the enormous expectations they brought with them. The team, coached by Greg Berhalter, was unable to deal with the imposing physicality of Kiefer Moore, but they will be looking for a response in the Albite Stadium. Thank you so much for watching this video. We've finally come down to the end. If you liked it, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you again soon with another amazing video, so stay tuned.